number 1. For A, we have 1 third plus 1 third. If we share this in the diagram, yeah, we have 1 third plus another 1 third, which means in total we have 2 thirds. For B, 1 quarter plus 2 quarters. So in the diagram, he has 1 quarter plus another 2 quarters gives us 3 quarters in total. For C, 3 eighths plus 2 eighths. So yeah, we've got 3 eighths. And if we add another 2 eighths, there's one more eighth and another one means that we have 5 eighths in total. Do you see that when we add thirds to thirds, we get thirds, quarters to quarters, we get quarters, and when we add eighths to eighths, we get eighths. Let's move on to two. Now we are subtracting. So if we start with three fifths, we shade it here, we start with three fifths, and then we need to subtract one fifth from there. So we've got the three fifths, minus this one-fifth, let me just make this bigger, minus this one-fifth means that we are left with two-fifths. So three-fifths minus one-fifth is two-fifths. For B, is five-sixths minus four-sixths. So five-sixths means that we have five out of the six equal parts. So we start with five-sixths, like I've shaded here. Then we minus 4 sixths from that, so we minus 1, 2, 3, 4, so we minus any 4, and we're left with 1 sixth. For 3, 1 half plus 1 half, if we shade it here in this hole, it's so 1 half plus another half means that we've shaded 2 halves, or do you notice that we've shaded the whole block? So 2 halves is equal to 1 whole. For B, if we start with 1 whole, so let's say we start with this whole block, and if we minus 1 half from it, we minus that now, this means that we 1 whole is equal to 2 halves, and we minus that 1 half, so we are left with 1 half. Let's move on to 4. One third plus two thirds. One third plus two thirds means that we've shaded the whole diagram. So three thirds and that means that three thirds is equal to one whole. For B, if we have one whole, so I'm going to take this whole block. Do you notice that one whole is equal to three thirds like we saw above? Now, if we minus one third from it, I'm going to minus this one here, this means that we are left with two thirds. For C, one whole minus two thirds. So, this time I'm not going to use a diagram, I'm just going to say one whole. You must immediately think one whole is equal to three thirds, and three thirds minus two thirds is equal to one third. So, the answer shouldn't be there. So, the answer is one third. For 5, so we have 5 sixths, I'm going to shade in 5 sixths here, 5 out of the 6 parts, and then we need to still add 1 sixth to that, so that means that we've shaded 6 sixths or the whole rectangle, so 6 sixths or 1 whole is our answer. For B, we start with 1 whole, so Going to shade this whole block. I've shaded the whole block or I have shaded six sixths because those two mean the same thing. So now six sixths minus one sixth. I'm going to take one of these sixths away and that means that we are left with five sixths. For C, one whole minus four sixths. Now one whole you must immediately think six sixths Minus 4 sixths means that we are left with 2 sixths. That 1 shouldn't be there. Let's move on to number 6. We have seen that we can only add or subtract like fractions. In other words, 
with fractions that have the same denominator. When we add fractions, we never add the denominators. For example, it helps to say this in words, 2 fifths plus 1 fifth equals 3 fifths. Do you see the denominators all stay the same? For B, when we subtract fractions, sorry about the mistake there, so when we subtract fractions, we never subtract the denominators. For example, now it helps to say it in words, 6 sevenths minus, sorry that must be a minus, so 6 sevenths minus 2 sevenths is equal to 4 sevenths. So let's look at 2. Now again, like we saw up here, it helps to say it in words. 1 third plus 1 third equals 2 thirds. For B, 3 quarters plus 1 quarter equals 4 quarters or 1 whole. For C, 4 sevenths plus 2 sevenths equals 6 sevenths. Lastly for D, 5 eighths plus 3 eighths equals 8 eighths or 1 whole. Let's move on to 8. For A, we have 3 fifths minus 1 fifth equals 2 fifths. For B, 5 sixths minus 2 sixths is equal to 3 sixths. And 3 sixths in its simplest form is 1 half if we divide the top and the bottom by 3. For C, 1 whole minus 1 third. Are we working with thirds? So for 1 whole I want you to think 3 thirds. And 3 thirds minus 1 third is 2 thirds. For D, 1 whole minus 4 sevenths, we are working with sevenths, so for 1 whole I want you to think 7 sevenths, minus 4 sevenths leaves us with 3 sevenths.